What's the difference between cow leather and bison leather? It's not a trick question. First part is real simple. Cow leather comes from cows. Now the tanning process to get this into workable leather, usable, durable, is mostly automated today. The process uses chemicals. It stretches the leather, it sands it, splits it, tumbles it all before it becomes a good product. Real cow leather is an amazing product. Bison leather from the North American bison. We often call that a buffalo. That's tough leather too. Yet for generations, early settlers, their kinfolks, even history books have called bison buffalo. It's okay, live with it. We're Buffalo Jackson, we like the name. Sometimes by lack of facts or historically, we simply call things by the wrong names. Now, many Buffalo Jackson fans may enjoy a little sip of bourbon, but consider this. You can make bourbon anywhere in the world, but it can't be labeled bourbon unless it was made in Kentucky. Bison leather is usually called buffalo leather, but there is another buffalo leather that is from the Asian water buffalo. It's good leather too, and it has its place. That's just another video. The bison we use is organically tanned. It's not stretched as much as cowhide. Some say it's 35 or 40% stronger, and it remains stronger during its use. It'll serve you well, and it's gonna look rugged. Leather is graded by full grain and top grain. There's a video on that also if you want more details. All leather thickness is measured by the ounce. Not ounce in its weight, but in thickness. Lower the number, thinner the leather. Higher the number, ounce, thicker and heavier the leather. Hey, we hope this video has helped you find the right bag, the right toughness for your style and character and your projects. All those are worth consideration. And if this video has been helpful, let us know. Buffalo Jackson aims to please their customers well with products and information, so subscribe here for more stories.